welcome to my journey into another No Tag Tuesday. Now, I forgot all about it. We've been so busy with the garden. Tracy texted me this morning and she was saying something about doing the tag. I'm like, oh my, I forgot to do the tag. So, here we are. David's still in the bed, so I ain't bothering him. He's been working hard. So, this month, we have Tracy back at the ham. Tracy tries along here, girl. She took um, some time off and she had some shoulder surgery and whatnot. And Sandy was doing it. So Tracy's back this month. And these are random have you ever questions. <laughs> maybe you'll know, maybe you won't. <laughs> Number one, have you ever talked on the phone for more than two hours? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I used to be a talker. Not so much anymore. Um, I don't really care to talk on the phone, but used to, I would talk on the phone for days. Number two, have you ever stayed awake for an entire night? I have. I've stayed awake studying. I've stayed awake just because I couldn't sleep. I've stayed awake for fishing. I've stayed awake for just different things. Number three, have you ever fallen or stumbled in front of others? Yes, I have. In high school, I won a um, journalism award because I was on the school newspaper. And it seems like we went to Chapel Hill for our um, ceremony, big ceremony. And when they called my name, I stood up because it was a banquet. The um, podium was a big thing up here. And all our tables set this way perpendicular to it, right? So I had to get up and then go... <laughs> Well, when I stood up, my foot was wrapped around the leg of my chair, and I, <laughs> I face planted right there in front of hundreds of students. Mm, mm. You know what I did? I stood up, walked there, and got my certificate. Yes, I did. Have you ever had a deja vu experience? I have. Isn't that the weirdest thing? You're like trying to think in your mind, did that really happen? Or am I dreaming it? It, Yeah, deja vu is wild. Number five, have you ever regretted saying I love you? Um, That's a sticky one because at the time you don't regret it because you're really feeling it. I mean, that, that is a true feeling that you're having at the moment. Later on, hindsight is maybe regretting who you said it to, but maybe not that you actually said it. So, I'm thinking probably I don't regret saying it because that would be, you know, that, that's my true feeling. But regretting who? Mm -hmm. Number six, have you ever faked to being sick so you could stay home or come home from school to work? I'm sure I did, but here's the thing. I was raised, my mama said, if you call in work sick and you ain't sick, you're going to get sick. So, she raised me that whatever you call in that's a lie that's what's going to happen to you. So, I mean, I grew up grew up having that ingrained in me. But I'm, I'm sure I did at some point. But it was not a habit. I can guarantee you that. Number seven. Have you ever stayed in your pajamas all day long? Oh, yes. I do it sometimes now. If I know I don't have nothing to do, shoot. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Traipsing around the house with your gown tail on. Oh, yes. Let's see. Have you ever been in a hospital emergency room? I surely have. Um, for like my, uh, um, when my appendix almost ruptured, when my um, gallbladder almost ruptured. <laughs> and I'm sure there was some other times like when I fell, different things like that. Um, have did I miss anything? Have you ever lied about not doing something you were supposed to do? Have, have you ever lied about not doing something? Oh, oh, saying that you did it and you didn't. I probably have. I nothing specifically comes to mind, but I can say I'm human, so I probably have. Number ten. Have you ever been kicked or bitten by an animal? Hmm. 
Oh, yes, I have been bitten by hamsters. <laughs> I can't think, I don't think no big um, thing has bitten me. Flair bit me accidentally when I was giving her medicine and she's trying for me not to give her medicine and she's chomping down. She didn't get a hold of me or I wouldn't have got it out that easy. She's, she's nipped accidentally. But um, I had a hamster, Dobby, that I used to call him my little blood sugar checker. Because you just look at him and he'd bite you. <laughs> so, yes, I've been bitten a lot of times by a stinking little hamster. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, that's all of them. That was nice and quick, which is good because I need to make it nice and quick before we can go to the garden this morning. So, that is all I have. Um, and thanks, Tracy, for getting back at the helm of things. We appreciate you. Um... And be sure and go down and check out everybody else's video. All the links will be in the description box. So, this is Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow for a frugal menu planning grocery haul.